up loves welcome back to my channel today i have a new video for you guys where we will be sketching and chilling and chit chatting <laughs> um today i just wanted to get really real and raw with you guys because you know it's raw sushi you know we, we keep it raw and real over here so i really wanted to get really deep with you guys with this conversation and um, I'm going to tell you guys a little bit about my art struggles because I am not perfect. I want you guys to know that right now that I go through the artist struggles just like everybody else does. And um, I'm going to tell you a little bit about my journey, my art journey. Um, it's probably not going to be all of it, but mostly about doubt as an artist, having self-doubt as an artist. Like that is one of the deepest things, you know what I'm saying? Like one of the one of the hardest things I think that it comes to overcome because I feel as artists, we are our own worst critics. You know what I'm saying? We we are always super hard on ourselves. You know what I'm saying? We're always, you know, we're trying to, you know, do better and better. You know what I'm saying? And, um, but then there comes a time, you know, and then there's other artists, right? There's other artists and we were feeling intimidated and we're just like, wow, their art is so good, you know? It's just like, man, I really wish it could look like that. I really, you know, and I've had these feelings, you guys, I've had these feelings, you know what I'm saying? I've had self doubt as an artist, you know what I'm saying? And, um, yeah, it's just like, um, you know, we're gonna, we're gonna have that doubt, you know what I'm saying? But then I realized, you know what I'm saying? There's something bigger, bigger than this, you know? Okay. Yeah. I'm feeling, I'm feeling this, this intimidation I'm feeling this you know when I when I was realizing this you know like all this time I'm like oh my gosh you know I'm feeling all this intimidation I'm feeling this doubt you know what I'm saying why do I feel this way about my art you know what I'm saying like I have to love my art like I love myself you know what I'm saying so I I, I started thinking about it and I was just like you know what my art is a reflection of who I am and my art is unique just like I am. We are all our own completely unique individuals and nobody out there is like us. And that's what is the most important thing that I think everybody should know, that we should not compare ourselves to other artists or to other people in general, because we are all our own unique individuals. And we are all made for our own purpose. We are all made to improve at our own timing. That's why we should never be, never be hard on us or on ourselves for, you know, not having our art skills at, at a level like maybe this other artist has. You know what I'm saying? Like we shouldn't compare, you know, our timing with somebody else's timing because everybody has their own specific purpose. You know what I'm say saying? Like not everybody is made the same everybody has their own journey their own customized journey for themselves you know what i'm saying and once i realized this i was like wow you know what i'm gonna, I'm gonna focus on my my design my style this is what i do you know what i'm saying i don't have to do anything different i don't have to i don't have to do anything like anything like this artist or anything like that artist i just have to do me you know what i'm saying i can get inspired by other artists but i have to remember that i have to do me and focus on my my lane you know what I'm saying more than I'm focusing on you know other artists art you know what I'm saying so we got to really pay attention um, at the end of the day to what it is that we're doing with her art and what it is we're doing with ourselves you know what I'm saying so I think that's like really big and really powerful um, just remembering that there's no reason to compare ourselves at all you know, because we are our own unique individuals. We are not TVs. We're not, you know, this is, I'm trying to think of a good good example. Like we're not um, inanimate objects. You know, we're, we're, we are not pieces of furniture that, you know, pieces of furniture can be compared to each other. But humans, no, no, no. We are all our own completely unique individual makeup of millions and billions and trillions of cells. Like, that's how deep it is. That's how completely unique we are. And we have to remember that, you know what I'm saying? And we were all put on this earth for our own specific purpose. And that's why we should love ourselves. Love yourself. I'm, not, I'm, I'm telling you, that is so important. When, when coming into art, you know what I'm saying? And anything that you do, you have to love yourself. You guys ask me, how do you get better at your art? Love yourself. Love you. 
because you will pay attention and focus to on yourself more and you will focus on your grind more. You will do everything that it takes to get better at your craft. You know what I'm saying? Because I think what stops us is self-doubt. What keeps us from going forward is, you know, doubting ourselves or comparing ourselves. That's going to keep you um, stagnant. That's going to keep you in a in a in one place. You know, you're not going to move forward if you're if you're comparing yourself, if you're, um, you know, trying to do something that isn't you, you know. So I think one of the most important things to developing oneself as an artist is first loving yourself because you are your own unique individual. You were made for your own specific individual purpose. You have your own customized journey. And I think at the end of the day, when we realize that, we realize, wow, life is really beautiful because all of the things that I went through was not in vain. It was so I could be here in the spot that I am today. It was so I could learn these lessons so I could, you know, do this thing. So I could teach this person this. I went through all of these things so I could teach it to you. You see what I'm saying? So we are all made um, to do specific things and to do different things. And that's why I believe everything happens for a reason because, you know, we learn from our mistakes and we, we go through things so we can learn from them so we can grow into a stronger person. But um, yeah, I just really wanted to lay that down with you guys today. I really wanted to make it keep keep it raw and real for you guys and put that put that talk out out there for you guys because it's really important to know and for you all to know, especially my young viewers, my young watchers too, but for everybody, it doesn't matter um, to know that you are amazing, you are unique, you are awesome, you are special, and you have a purpose. And um, remember how special you are. You're awesome. We are all unique all completely unique, individual, um, amazing children of God. (laughs) And we have a lot of great things coming for us. And we have a lot of things coming for our lives. You know what I'm saying? So just remember to speak those positive things into existence. Speak what you need into existence. But be careful what you speak into existence. Be very specific with it. And, you know, ask God for that direction that you need to get you to the places that you want to go and to do the things that you want to do and believe in yourself because at the end of the day it's you and you, it's you and yourself honey it's you and yourself and the person that you want to make sure that loves you first is you you got to make sure that you love yourself But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you all so much for watching. Make sure you follow me on Instagram at Raw Sushi and like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you all so much for watching this video. I love you guys. Peace, love, and God bless. Bye. See you all next time.